Hello, hi. If you enjoy anything in this video, you should consider the following. Subscribe to me here on YouTube, follow me on Twitch, and on TikTok, where I make other forms of content and where I post my other content. All right, cool. Enjoy the video. Hey, I probably should have said this like, uh, uh, as soon as my countdown shit was over, uh, Mojo Stream is going to kick today. The first Mojo Stream of the week, you know? And... I know I talked about this, uh, uh, last time I was live, whatever, but I really, like, uh, hit my, what word do I want to use, my peak of, um, bullshit tolerance, because pretty much all of last week, Starting on like Tuesday, um, motherfuckers was tripping the hell out over people even considering streaming on kick or talking about doing uh, uh, multi streams on kick and shit. And a lot of people, myself included, are doing it to have another safety net. Like financially, right? Because I still, I'm still in the camp of I don't think it'll last super, super long. But while it is possible to attain even the smallest bit of uh, f extra, extra coin, just fucking hop on the shit and do it already, bro. And the other thing that's really getting on my goddamn nerves about it to like like a level that's legitimately pissing me off is the people who for good reason say not to use kick and stand third because you know the moderation is still lacking you know i'm not not too fond of the fact that you got to send an email to someone to get some shit done but i do like the fact that um sending an email gets it settled like immediately which is you know always a good thing like you're never gonna you're never gonna convince me that that's not a good thing but it's it's the people who don't make content who don't stream who don't do like tiktoks or 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 anything of the sort complaining and telling people what they can and cannot do with their own fucking time and what they can and cannot do with their streams and their communities and their money, right? Because the other problem is that it's the people with the loudest mouth who don't do shit, who are not putting money in other people's pockets telling people what they can and cannot do who they can and cannot support where they can and cannot stream because like if if we look at the other existing alternatives that we have there's not not counting youtube and twitch there is facebook streaming who who the fuck uses that there's trovo who the fuck uses that? Um, there's Rumble. There's, um, well, this is a VTuber centric one. Uh, VStream, which is still in beta. And as far as I know, there's like no monetization on it. So telling people to do all that and then go to like dead platforms and shit and platforms where there's no no monetization anything that's that helps nobody it, it really fucking doesn't and I genuinely dislike the people who are 
going on and on and on and on and on and on and on about um streaming to other platforms when usually right uh the people saying that don't watch them in the first place like if we're gonna talk about it we gonna talk about it and today we fucking talking about it because I have seen people who who don't even watch streamers for real for real and they're like YouTube only people or they are of the crowd of like I said earlier people who don't make any fucking content telling people that they can't stream here and they can't stream there and even those people are, are among the crowd of oh well you have to you have to diversify and you have to do this and you have to do that <clears throat> and it's very funny to me that the people who don't do shit or who like quite literally only do shit on one platform and before I continue when I say People who only do shit on one platform. I'm not talking about those that prefer to do things on one platform. I'm talking about the people who have the capacity to do things on other platforms, but they actively choose not to do that. Those are the fucking people I'm talking about when I say people who only do stuff on one platform. But continuing on with what I was saying, it's the people who function off that mentality, thinking that they have the stones to tell people like that they can't do shit and that, oh, well, blah, 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 this, blah, 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 that. I'm not going to support you. This not going to support you that. And it's like the people saying that didn't watch the person that they're mad at anyway. So they can't really be like, oh, I'm not going to support you and stuff because you know blah 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 you don't have to throw money at people to support them you don't have to um subscribe and all that you can do the bare minimum of just having the shit run in the background or like retweeting or do doing the bare minimum and there's people out there who will not do the bare minimum i have my experience of people who will not do the bare minimum trust me but it's the people out there who's on that bullshit telling people what they should and shouldn't do. And one of my favorite things that I have been seeing recently is that the people who are all like, oh, well, blah, blah, blah. Don't stream on Kick. Don't stream on Rumble. I, oh, I actually don't support streaming on Rumble. Rumble is a fucking hellhole. But like, you will be like, don't stream here don't stream there use youtube use youtube you use youtube and i agree people should be using youtube and stuff but the funny thing that i've been saying is that people get screamed at and bitched at to go use youtube and then when they get hit with the with the response i'm already using youtube they don't really have a leg to stand on after that because it's from what i've been saying and i'm not I'm going to disregard smaller content creators for just a moment and shit, but like I've been seeing moderately sized content creators, streamers, whatever, um, choosing to stream on kick in conjunction with YouTube and Twitch and whatever. And when I say moderate, I mean like, uh, like 50 K, 100 K, you know, good traction per video, TikTok banging shorts banging you know they just want to have another another little bit of coin coming their way and uh you know try to try to get on the uh the money pot of twit of uh kick before it just vanishes and shit but like there's people who already have those shits being like yeah i i already use youtube and kick so what's your rebuttal now you know what what are you gonna bitch at for bitching me for now because i'm already on both platforms but i want another platform to be on you know 
And usually, when someone gets hit with that, they don't have another response to go after because it's like, oh shit, well, what do I do now? You know? And when I see that, I laugh because, like I said, again, it's the people that don't do shit who are telling the people that do do shit what they can and can't do, what they where they can and cannot stream, whatever. Like a uh, uh, perfect example, right? The other day, I believe it was uh, Saturday night. This past Saturday night, um, Zentrea did a uh, a kick test stream just to see if shit would work or not, right? And people immediately took that as, oh my god, she's going to kick, oh my god, she's a bad person, and bitches was trying to, was trying to fucking cancel her for literally no reason, bro, because the way that uh, Twitter hive mind mentality works, especially the fucking, the moral police people, the way they operate is that, like, you can't even idly mention, um, moving to another spot or engaging with something different without them trying to tear your fucking neck out you know go go for the jugular as they would say and i find that to be outrageously irritating because these are the same kinds of people who will say not to support this platform or not to support that person shit messed that up not to support this platform not to support that person but yet they like they they support some shitty fucking people of their own you know like say if we're gonna talk about it we're gonna talk about it because is plenty of is plenty of content creator, plenty of VTuber out there, that's like done some real crazy shit, or has like like allegations of doing some real crazy shit, and then you know the allegations are probably proven to be true, and then they're like, oh well, they didn't do anything to me, so blah 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 blah, blah. and that's not how that shit work, bro. Don't sit up here and, like, blow your top because someone is considering using another platform or someone is, like, testing out another platform because you're not putting any money in their fucking pocket. You're not, you're not their manager. You're not, you you, you don't have any say <coughs> in what they do and what they don't do with their content. So flipping out and trying to cancel someone is is ridiculous to me i hate that and i'm not saying all this to be like oh yeah i'm like a super kick supporter because i say i've said plenty of times i still don't think the site is gonna last very long i still see like many 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 fucking issues with the site with with, with kick you know like I said, the moderation and this and that and all these promises are cool but you know, you gotta start seeing some some genuine fucking results before you're like fully on board with some shit. And like, you know, I I don't I don't like doing the whataboutism bullshit. But if you're gonna bitch at one thing, you gotta bitch at all of them, bro. Because YouTube has its problems, you know, the the content ID shit, the false DMCA shit, um. Um, the, 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 the flagging, the, the crazy fucking demonetization that people go through and shit, you know, sometimes 
you get your earnings withheld for whatever stupid fucking reason. You can get your whole damn channel demonetized for something that's not even worth getting demonetized over and stuff. And we, we can talk about Twitch's problems all, all day if we really, really, really wanted to. But that 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 would that would be too long of a conversation and shit. So if you're gonna be mad at one thing, get mad at all of them, right? Because I remember when when uh, um like Twitch banned steak off of the platform, and they people took that as oh my god, all the gambling is gone. No, because. DraftKings sports betting still exists. Um, other like, hmm, sanctioned gambling is still allowed on Twitch, but like, the crazy like slot real shit, as far as I know, that that's not allowed anymore. But I really wish people who who ain't out here struggling and when i say struggling i don't just mean financially i mean like struggling in terms of this platform keeps fucking me over i gotta have more options that's that's really what i mean by struggling because we can go into the finances and the mental and 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 the content creation process all fucking day if we really wanted to but unfortunately the situation at hand right now is that twitch is fucking up fucking up hard and kick is trying to be comp competition for twitch youtube isn't fucking up but it still has its problems but you know as i talked about last time it like cut the cut, cut the streaming monetization requirements in half bro but people who stream on youtube and shit so you know that that's a huge w all around but it's live streaming capacity is 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 nowhere near what it is for twitch and until it gets to that point it's still gonna be lacking and it's gonna be lacking hard sadly but that's just how the fuck it is, bro. And then with kick, you know that that that's tweaking out. But people are starting to realize that with the more changes that happen to kick, I'm uh, not kick, uh, Twitch. The more changes that happen, the more people are realizing, huh? I gotta have more methods of sustainability in my pocket because for a lot of people I mean a lot of people Twitch is their only source of income that's all they fucking have and with Twitch continually finding ways to take more and more and more and more and more from people without giving them any kind of comeuppance or, or, or payback or anything people are like damn I gotta get it together and I gotta get it together quick so because a lot of people prefer to to stream and whatnot, naturally they're gonna be like okay well YouTube is an option. Kick is an option. Because. Because the other thing is that. Kick is a popular website. At the moment. A lot of people using the damn thing. The. The viewer base. Is. Small. And so. Naturally. One would think. If, if there's another popular website and the viewer base is small at the moment, the conscious decision would be, okay, 
let me try to get a little bit a little bit of this while i can right now with a small benefit from there get what i can get now and then when everything crashes and burns i won't be too fucked right and i that that is what i personally feel is a lot of people's mentality towards kick at a moderate to medium sized content creator level because most smaller streamers vtubers excluded are like hey if you want to do it you go ahead and you do that shit bro if we re-include vtubers into the conversation then they're just like it's evil it's evil it's evil don't do it don't do it don't do it but not offering any kind of like okay maybe consider this because like i said people are doing youtube now as like a backup because again monetization requirements for streamers cut in half but it still takes time to get monetized on youtube because if we factor in the streaming monetization you need 500 subs which can be hit or miss for you you need 3,000 watch hours which if you just stream like continually stream for days on end and you have like like let, let, let's just say between 10 to 20 viewers the whole time you'll hit that shit easy you, you, you will hit that easy. And you need three public uploads within the last uh, 90 days? Yeah, 90 days. Which, that's not hard either, right? Because all you have to do is just upload something. It has to be a video and... If you really don't want to go through the hassle of just like editing something like I am right now, you can just take a Twitch VOD and upload that, do that three times, and you're good. You, you, you're good. There's nothing else you got to do. But for some people, that is uh, too much work for them. And I wish I could say I was joking, but... I have had plenty a conversation with other, well, I can't even say content creators because they're not doing shit, other wannabe content creators doing shit. I've had plenty of conversation with them about them going out of their way to be as lazy as possible because it. The, there are still people out there who are like, I just want to stream. I only want to stream. I don't want to do shit else. But they don't want to do the bare minimum of just literally hitting the fucking export button. That for some people, and I, I, I cannot stress this enough, for some people, that is too much fucking work. And that baffles me. It, it, it really, really baffles me. I don't understand how that is too much work for some people. I just don't get it. I really don't get it. But, like I said, you, all you gotta do for the, the YouTube thing is to just have three public uploads like like you could just upload some 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 dog shit ass something as a public upload and you'll be fine you just gotta do that three times three times that's all it takes that's all it takes but that's too much for some fucking people out here And I just, I don't understand the people who say they want to do all this. And 
you know, it's been said plenty of times before, an overwhelming amount of times before, that if you want to grow, you got to do shit on other places. And condemning people for talking about going to other places, that's bullshit to me. I don't like that at all. You wrong as hell if you do that shit. Because, you know, it's always, oh, well, I want my streamer to make money, but I don't want my streamer to do things on this here or this that. But I want them to make money. Like, stop it. <laughs> like, cut it out. Cut it, cut it the fuck out. But it's just, it's, it's gotten to a point over the last few days where honestly, people just need to shut the fuck up, right? Because people are going to do what they do with their platforms, regardless of who says what, because at the end of the fucking day, these people that are complaining and trying to demonize people aren't doing anything to support anyone and aren't going to participate in good faith argument because their hatred towards the platform in its entirety for a lot of people is just directed at one fucking person and they use that one person that they dislike as a as a slight against everyone that uses it, anyone that uses it, and using that to feel better about themselves at the end of the day. And that's not cool, you know. Don't condemn people for trying to secure their future so they won't be fucking moneyless and homeless and struggling and shit. Don't do that. Don't do that. But... Yeah, what do I know as someone who thinks about this shit quite frequently and understands what that what people gotta do is what they gotta do to get their fucking money and to survive and shit, you know? <laughs>